Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you Google Workspace. Now, this was known as G Suite before and Google completely rebranded it and made it a lot easier and more seamless to use. So basically what Workspace is, is all the Google apps that you may have used before, like Google Docs, Google Drive, Gmail, Google Calendar, all in one place under the Google Workspace umbrella to make it really seamless. So in this video, I wanna show you exactly what Google Workspace has to offer, how much it costs, what it's good for, and I have different videos on all the different apps that we're going to talk about. So I have different videos for Google Drive, Google Meet, Google Docs, Google Sheets, all the different things that are part of the Google Workspace I covered entirely in those videos. So I'll put everything nicely in the description below this video so you can jump around and learn about the one that you care about the most. Right now, let's jump on the computer so I could show you the new Google Workspace. Let me give you a quick overview of everything you get with Google Workspace. And you could go to workspace.google.com to come to this page and you'll kind of get an idea of all the different apps and platforms that are all part of Workspace. So the old G Suite is now Workspace. Now, if you're an admin or if you wanna make this for your own company, you just click the admin console here after you sign up. But to get started, you could just press get started here and it'll walk you through some of the pricing options. Just to show you here, if I go to pricing, at least at the time that I'm recording this, these are the different pricing options for different size businesses and for enterprise, you could go ahead and contact them. But these are all the different things you get inside of a very simple bundle. Now, some of these are what you may have used personally. So Google Docs, for example, you've already used Google Sheets, but some of these are upgraded. For example, the G Suite Gmail lets you have your own custom domain as part of your email instead of at gmail.com. So you could put at your website.com as part of your email address. Google Drive is upgraded. You have a lot more space. For example, if you get this plan, you get two terabytes of cloud storage. Google Meet, again, has some upgraded options like 150 participants plus recording on calls in this plan. So you could kind of compare the plans on this page to see what's right for you. But it's not just that you get this bundle of apps that you typically get for personal use too, but a lot of them have upgrades that you don't typically get with any personal applications from Google. Now, after you've signed up, how do you access Google Workspace? Well, it's very simple. It's just like you did before. Let me show you. For example, you could go to mail.google.com and log in with that G Suite email and password. Now, if someone else set this up for you, you need to get this information from them. But if you do sign up, you'll see G Suite over here, which is the workspace, and you won't see the personal version. So it kind of looks identical to your Gmail, but you'll have some new options here that you could take advantage of. For example, here, you have a very easy way to create chats just by clicking this option and starting a new chat with your coworkers by typing in their name and email on their Hangouts here. Google Meet is now part of Gmail here, so you can start a new meeting just from this tab over here. And again, you can watch the video on the Google Meet to learn more about that. Now, this is Gmail, so you can still compose the emails, everything you've done before with Gmail. But now if you press this option, you could jump into any other apps like Google Drive. So let me show you that. If you go to inside of Google Drive, again, this is part of the workspace, Google Drive and not your personal one. So depending on what plan you have, you may have a lot more room here and you could create any new document from here. So Google Docs, Google Sheet, Google Slide, Google Forms and more. You have all these different options. Now I have individual videos on every single one of these in the description below this video if you want to learn more about each one and an overall view of Google Drive and exactly how it works if you wanna learn more about that. To come to any other applications from any of the other applications, all you have to do is press this icon here and you could jump into any one of these here as part of your Google workspace. A lot of them have their own website URL, so drive.google.com. The email one was mail.google.com. 
docs.google.com will bring you to Google Docs, or you could start any document over here. I hope you found this useful. Again, make sure you check out the description box below where I go in more depth on individual apps that we talked about here, like Google Drive and Google Docs and everything else. And make sure you give this a thumbs up if you found it useful. Thanks so much for watching again, and I'll see you next time.